the light of Christ rises, overcoming death and bringing new life. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who is crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Praise God, Christ is risen. All glory, laud, and honor be to God forever and ever. Friends, I invite you to share the good news with one another using these words. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now is hung with bloom along the bough, and stands about the woodland ride, wearing white for Easter tide. Now of my threescore years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs is little room, about the woodlands I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. God be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. People will come from east and west and sit at table in the kingdom of God. Let us give glory to God, our creator, redeemer, and sanctifier. Glory to God in the highest. God, our creator, we thank you for the world you have made. We thank you for your loving care watching over all creation. We thank you for entrusting part of your world to us to tend, to care for, and to develop. You have made us women and men in your image so that in each other we can trace your likeness and serve you by serving our brothers and sisters. You made us to know you and to be near you. Our hearts are restless until they come to you. To bring us nearer to you when we were still far off, you sent your prophets and teachers to show us the glory of your steadfast love. The wonder of your redeeming love was fully shown in Jesus the Christ, who walked among us as one of us, meeting us face to face, person to person, God in human form. Yet we did not value him and sent him to death, a death he freely accepted, stretching out his arms on the cross to embrace the whole human race and to bear our sin in himself. By his death and resurrection, death is destroyed, and we are delivered from sin to share his risen life. You sent your Holy Spirit upon your church, so that in Jesus we are united to you with all creation and all the redeemed. We thank you that we can worship you with prayer and praise as one with all your people. Above all, we thank you for this sacrament of the body and blood of Christ. God, creator of time and space, may the love and faith which makes this bread the body of Christ, this wine his blood, enfold us now. Into your strong love we offer the prayers of your people. On this Easter morning we pray for the renewal of life and strength, for this hurting planet and all creation, for the people of every nation, for all who grieve, for the sick and the dying, for the many helpers and caretakers who tend to those in pain, for communities of faith connecting in new ways, for all of us who imagined we would have been gathered in the White Plains Presbyterian Church Sanctuary this morning, or reunited with many family members over an Easter meal. Gift us with the closeness of each other's presence in this communion meal. As we face uncertain days, fill our hearts with the good news of life that overwhelms the powers of death. God of peace, let us, your people, know that at the heart of this crisis, there is an inner calm that comes from faith in you. Keep us from being content with things as they are, that from this central peace, there may come a creative compassion, a thirst for justice, and a willingness to give of ourselves in the spirit of Christ. May Christ's Holy Spirit Bring to us in the sacrament the strength we need and an abiding trust in your gift of eternal life. Amen. And let us pray together as Jesus taught, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. My friends, this is the body of Christ, broken for you. Take 
and eat and remember Jesus. This is the cup of the new covenant of joy in our salvation. Take and drink. Remember Jesus. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Let us eat together. Let us pray. Most loving God, creator and redeemer, we give you thanks for this foretaste of your glory. Through the risen Christ and with all your saints, we offer ourselves and our lives to your service. Empower us with your spirit to stand with you in your world as we stand apart from one another in love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our friend and brother. Amen.